Hey folks, I'm Thub. When I did that scrap run video, I learned that taking apart a bunch of garbage for money can be fun. So today's video is the first in a new mini-series where I show you the best way to take apart the more common things you'll find in alleys to get all the stuff that you want and toss that which you don't. I call it money for nothing. Let's get started. The first one is going to be one of my favorites, the common microwave. Now to take this bad boy apart, you're only going to need a couple simple tools. A pair of wire cutters, a hammer, a drill with a long Phillips end, some kind of grips. You also might want some gloves. The first thing to do, and some people forget about this, is down here. You'll find a little motor. Pop that out of there. And then you're going to want to go around and take out all of the screws, but you only need to focus on the heavy side, because that's where all the good parts are. Now there's a couple security screws that you can't get your normal drill bit into, but that's what the grips are for. They're a pain to start, but once you get them moving, they're a little further out, so you got more to bite on. Now you can just peel it open like a can. Now first things first, just clip every one of those wires right near the base. There's a couple that run down to where that other motor was. Let's grab those and get back. All right, now you got a fistful of wire. Now this particular one has a stainless steel exterior, which is also worth money. There you go. Now take your screwdriver and remove all the screws holding in the parts that you wanted to keep. But Thub, I don't know what those are. Calm down, I'm getting to that. And what you want is here, here, over here, some of these, and a few of these things. There's two more little holes in there. See those? There's a screw in there. All right. Now you got that. Now you'll find some goodies in this white plastic and this piece of plastic. So you want to carefully remove those. There, see? That's what you want. Now over here you'll find a handful of little switches, a doohickey, and a thingamabob. You're gonna want those. But there's no need to take the whole thing out because you don't need everything, just those little bits. Again, very carefully. There's probably someone somewhere that'll pay you for that. I don't know who it is. Now there's a couple things we missed out on that I really wanted to show you. So it's a good thing I have a backup. Now since I've already shown you all the details, let's just see how long it takes to rip one of these apart. Now there's the part I wanted to show you. Those two little chestnuts. Now this one here is the transformer. That's the part that makes it worth doing. And that part over there is the capacitor. Now this little device, by design, is capable of outputting an extremely high voltage. And normally they have this little grounding wire over here attached to some part of the casing that is intended to discharge any electricity it might be holding after the thing is unplugged. But there's no guarantee that that discharge ground wire doohickey is actually functioning. So you want to be extremely careful around these things. If not treated with the appropriate care, the capacitor will scrap you. Now for safety, we'd want to wear some really decent insulated gloves and some non-conductive wire clippers. I don't have either of those things, so let's hope I don't die. I'm still alive. But seriously, safety first. Now to that, we ended up with more than anything, a small pile of stainless steel, a tray with mostly copper, some other bits, and a fistful of wires. We're like fistful of dollars, am I right? So one second and I'll show you what we do with all this. 
First and foremost, let's do the fan motor. It's less complicated than it looks. You can see these seams on either side. Those are just holding this winding of copper together with pressure. So if you give them a decent whack with a hammer, you'll eventually get that piece out. Get that piece of metal out. Slide that stuff off. And super easy, you got a handful of bare bright copper. Now these things, the motors from the underside that turn the plate. Most motors of this nature you would just want to throw in a motor pile because it's a big pain in the butt. But these ones, if you just pinch them open at the right spots, it's actually pretty easy to get them open and separate the copper. There you go. Another pile of copper hair. Speaking of hair. What up, buddy? Bye. Next, let's take a look at these bad boys. This is a magnetron. This is the part responsible for cooking your food. It somehow takes the magic of electricity and a high voltage from that capacitor and it combines it with the sorcery of magnetism to produce an extremely powerful and dangerous arc of electricity directed at your food. I've heard you can use these to make cool junk, but that's not why I like them. Well, let's see if I can show you how to crack one of these open. It can be a little rough on the hands. Ah. Now here you can see two extremely strong magnets that are a lot of fun and worth keeping around, as well as a piece of brass. It better be brass. If it's gold, I have been getting way less than what it's worth for it. This part here is also really dangerous. I believe it's beryllium oxide ceramic. Or it's some kind of oxide ceramic. Anyway, if you try and cut it or hit it with a hammer, it'll turn into a dust and fly off into the air. You'll inhale it into your lungs, and you'll get cancer crazy fast and dust. Now, we can just grab this whole thing. And rip that on out of there. Now these are all copper wire. You can crack this thing open and get in there if you want to, but I don't feel like it's worth the strain on my delicate hands. If you want, you can pay for shipping and I'll put all of these in a box and send them to you. And you can try and get that tiny bit out. Now we're left with this. And this is two parts, of two pieces of copper wire, two mad decent magnets, and one Whatever the heck this thing is. These are made out of aluminum, and I tried cracking one of these open before. These are definitely copper. So you can just build your own pile of pieces that are aluminum and copper and get something for it. Now my next favorite part, and the reason why I wanted to open up the other one. Any microwave you find will either have one of these or one of these. They're both a version of a transformer. This sword is nice because whenever you find one, it's definitely copper. So with this, you can just clip all the junk off, and removing a big handful of copper is super easy. It's also kind of fun. Now that'll take us right into the next piece. A transformer, I think it's called and I'll show you how to take it apart. But before I do that, you take your wire clippers and cut into the side of these windings. And you'll see right away, this cuts too easily, bends too easily, and has silver on the inside. That means that this is copper coated aluminum. But that's pretty common. Typically, of the two windings, one of them will be copper coated aluminum and one of them will be solid copper. Take it over to a softer piece of ground, take your hammer, and give it a couple of good whacks right along the seam. And after a few solid hits, the one side should separate. These are all glued together, so it's good to get some movement to start them separating. I find the best way is a couple solid whacks in the middle. Now that they're separated, you're gonna wanna get them moving apart. And for me, what works good is just put it on its side and give the windings a couple whacks. There's one, and you can tell right away based on the weight in your hands that it does not have the density to be copper. It's definitely aluminum. And 
And that's got it. Now the only other thing is all these little doohickeys. These things here are full of copper windings and they look similar to the last transformer that we took apart. But don't be fooled, these have a whole bunch of little plates interlocking that are incredibly annoying to take apart. So, just take all of those and put them with your motors. Trust me, don't bother. I mean it. Now these things are a ferrite bead encased in plastic with a bunch of copper winding around them. You can give them a solid whack and it breaks the bead and generally you can just twist it off from there. Now it's possible you'd make more money if you just left this onto the heavy ferrite bead and brought it in in your, in your bucket of motors. That's up to you. Now these little black things that cracked off of the button panel have a couple different things you might be interested in. The first thing you'll find is one of these, which are really quite easy to separate with a pair of pliers. And then you can just start peeling all of the copper off of those. And that little button is an alloy of tungsten and silver. So you may want to save those. And finally, all these little switches. If you crack one open, you'll find they also have copper leads with little buttons of silver tungsten alloy. So they're worth cracking apart. So that's the fastest way to get the most money out of a microwave. I'm Thub and I hope you look forward to the next episode of Money for Nothing. Mm -hmm.